Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Let's say you are a leading uh, scientist, or you are um, a leading, I don't know, a world leader, a president, or you are an important person in charge of a business, a country, an institution. And um, <clears throat> you make a statement regarding an issue related to your expertise, that you have expertise, you know, and then uh, someone challenges you, someone important in front of the world, which is, okay, uh, Gigi, you said this, uh, I would like to debate you on that issue, which is actually your expertise. So let's say you, as I said, you're an, um, I don't know, a scientist in uh, virology. Okay, so that means you know shit over there. Okay, you're good. And someone says, okay, I want to debate you on that. An important person whose expertise is not, uh, you know, virology. Would you do it? I mean, after all, it's going to be an easy score destroying someone else, very important, just by showing up and say, I'm going to give you the evidence right here. I think that would be the right way to do it because he, this person, destroys your reputation by uh, saying, hey, I think you are wrong, uh, Gigi, in your field of knowledge. So that an active uh, accusation, you know, leveled against you and your knowledge. That tells you you're a liar. Obviously, you would respond, you know, because that person, as I said, is not an unknown person. It's a very important person. And the world is waiting. The world, why? Because it's already out in the open, the challenge. So let me show you what happened. You're all familiar, maybe not, with Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Correct? All right. So he is the... He want to be the Democratic candidate for presidency in 2024. He has traction and he is called by the mass media all kind of names because they don't like him whatsoever. He's not electable because he's not reading the script. They call him an anti-vaxxer. They call him conspiracy theorist, uh, not and so on. And th they do not promote anything. If you read about uh, Robert Kennedy in the newspaper mainstream, they will always label him with something negative. And he, had, he made some uh, statements, uh, Kennedy, during a podcast of uh, Joe Rogan. Now, Joe Rogan could not be ignored because he's a very big megaphone. Now, Kennedy is very important as well. And we have this leading scientist who attacks Kennedy for whatever Kennedy said. And Joe Rogan said, you know what? How about you debate uh, Kennedy? So, in virology, about the vaccination. You are an expert in vaccines and all that? Kennedy is a nut? You should just make a quick job on, uh, uh, of Mr. Kennedy. Remember, if he would show up and uh, Rogan um, claims that uh, offers to happen in his podcast, that means uh, tens of millions of people will have access to. All right. But guess what the guy is doing? He's not saying, yeah, I will come and I will show you in front of everybody why this guy is a nut job, why he's a this and he's that and that. But he's not doing it. He's avoiding it. Joe Rogan offers $100,000 to this virologist to show up. Um, he's what? A leading uh, vaccine um, scientist, whatever. What was the... Researcher. He's a researcher. R researcher. Okay, so this researcher, if he, I would do it if I were him and I, was, I would be convinced that I'm right, I would come forward without the money and say, okay, let's discuss. I don't want people, my fellow Americans, to have the wrong impression. So I'm going to destroy this conspiracy theorist, anti-vaxxer, in a second with evidence and facts, with science. But he's not, uh, he's avoiding it. Now, what does, what does that tell you? A lot of things. Let me read you this uh, article coming from The Rap. Rap. And this is from June 17, 2023. Joe Rogan offers $100,000 to leading vaccine researcher to debate RFK, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., over quote-unquote nonsense anti-vaxxer claims. Elon Musk also jumped into the discussion saying that Professor Peter Hotets, who 
helped create the COVID vaccine Corbevax is, and I'm quoting, afraid of public debate. So this guy uh, helped create the vaccine. You have uh, Kennedy making some stupid claims, correct? Nonsense, right? And then this guy's gonna avoid. I don't care if you got the money or not, that's beyond the point. The point is the truth here. And it seems like some people do not want to get in this debate. After Peter Hotetz, a leading vaccine researcher and expert who helped develop the COVID vaccine Corbavax, called out Democratic presidential candidate and anti-vaxxer Robert R. Kennedy, uh, not F, I said F a few times, I think it's R, my bad, uh, for spreading nonsense on Joe Rogan's podcast, Rogan offered Hotetz, not Hotez, Hotetz, $100,000 to debate Kennedy on his podcast. Now, if Mr. Hotetz would be certain that he hold the truth, and obviously he should because he was, uh, you know, involved in this, he should come over and say, okay, these are the, this is the evidence. And Kennedy is not a, uh, as far as I know, he's a lawyer. So he's not a... Uh, uh, how do you call it here? Researcher, vaccine researcher. Kennedy appeared on jo the Road jo uh, Ro Ro Jogan, yes, very nice. The Joe Rogan experience on Thursday and repeated his claim that routine vaccinations cause autism. That's what Kennedy claimed. That prompted Dr. Hotetz, a, a medical doctor, PhD, who is Dean of the National School of Tropical Medicine at Baylor College of Medicine in whew, Hudson, in Houston, I'm sorry, Houston, uh, Houston, Houston, Texas, to label Kennedy's statements as, and I'm quoting, misinformation. All right, this is your claim, bring the evidence and come over. Maybe the other guy, I mean, this is how you find the truth. Maybe Mr. Horetz is going to destroy Mr. Kennedy. Maybe Mr. Horetz could learn certain things from Mr. Kennedy. I don't know. I would like to see that. In the name of truth, Hotez retweeted Vice's story. Spotify has stopped even sort of trying to stem Joe Rogan's vaccine misinformation and quote writing. Just awful. And from all the online attacks I'm receiving after this absurd podcast, it's clearly many actually believe this nonsense. Okay, why don't you come and clear the air, baby doll? I don't know, let's see. Rogan then offered Hotetz $100,000 to debate Kennedy on his podcast, to which Hotetz reported uh, and responded. And this is, would be his response in a uh, real society. Yes, I take it. I would gladly come and uh, uh, teach and educate Mr. Kennedy and the whole world about this. And I will uh, uh, disprove and debunk all Mr. Kennedy's uh, accusations and conspiracy theory and anti blah blah. And once and for all, I will destroy this guy's reputation. And he's never going to be a candidate for the US presidency. I guarantee you that. Do you think that's his answer? Obviously, you know, that was not his answer. He's not an answer like, I'm not going to come to debate. He's not going to say, I'm coming. He's going to be in between. Weasel. Fuck. with a stamp of weasel ship. Now, this is his answer. Uh, Joe, I'm quoting, you have my cell, you have my email. You say, oh my God, he wants to be called. I'm always willing to speak to you. Uh, it wasn't about speaking to Joe Jogan, Joe, Joe yes, Joe Rogan. It was about debating this guy. So yeah, yeah, I, I'm all for it, but I don't want to talk with that uh, nut job. When Rogan called the reply, and I'm quoting, a non-answer, and quote, the virologist responded, and again, I'm quoting, uh, Joe, if you're serious, okay, that's an attack on uh, Rogan's um, uh, morality here, character. So Rogan is not serious. So instead of saying, well, I don't show up because I, I think it's going to be bad, that guy is crazy or, some, or something like that, he's attacking Joe Rogan's He's not serious. If you're serious about addressing vaccines, which he is because he wants you to debate someone else, plus the fact, and now he says again, he attacks, but he doesn't want to debate. The fact that 200,000 unvaccinated Americans needlessly perished during our awful Delta slash BA.1 COVID waves, including 40,000 in our state of Texas because they fell victims to vaccine disinformation, I want to have that discussion. So, 
he wants to have a, a discussion with Joe if he's serious about it. And then he throws all this on people with this information. So it's your fault, basically. So that's an accusation right here. Take it however you want. Dr. Hotetz added, I'm happy to come on. Oh, I said, oh my God, look at this guy. And have a meaningful discussion. Woo, I respect you and your show. And I don't want an adversarial relationship. I think we can make some progress. Well, you come on your show, talk to the guy. Then Twitter owner Elon Musk jumped in to say of Dr. Hotetz. I'm quoting, he's afraid of a public debate because he knows He's wrong, end quote, Mr. Elon Musk said. To this, Dr. Horetz responded again, seriously, Elon, this is monstrous. Again, attack on his character. Attack on this, instead of saying, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna come and I'm show you why. He's avoiding, he's attacking monstrous, the other one is not serious, uh, I'm gonna come and educate you, and so on. And this is the whole tweet, Joe, you have myself, tra la 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 shaming, you know, and all that. So what do you think about this, my friends? I don't know if it's going to be allowed to go on, on th these guys because they're very when it's about this, but I didn't give any of my uh, uh, impressions. I'm just uh, analyzing these guys' I think avoidance to go and debate a uh, misinformation guy, uh, anti-vaxxer, and prove all those crazies that he's right with evidence, facts. He's a scientist. He's a researcher. He should be, you know what? I was involved in this because I know this. You don't know it. I'm going to come and tell you about it. I would like to hear it. I would like to find, to hear it. And not only that, maybe have it settled. Come and say, okay, now we know this is really a anti-vaxxer right here. But no, he's avoiding. He wants to talk to Rogan in non-adversarial uh, relationship. Like, that means don't challenge me. Well, you shouldn't be afraid to be challenged. It, it is unbelievable. I mean, it's unbelievable. If um, I understand that he should not come and debate uh, me or Gigi or Mikey. But here we have someone, which is Kennedy, Rogan, which is Rogan, which has the big megaphone platform. You got Kennedy, who has a big traction. A lot of people are going to vote for him, not for this virologist. And he's not coming. I think that issue should be addressed. I think he should be like, I don't, know, like, I don't even know, clear the air with this. You say it's cleared? Well, why are you avoiding coming and speaking with the guy? You think it's be beneath you? You're just a scientist if you want me to go straight like that. Nobody votes for you. You know what it is? And we live in a democracy. So the other guy is as he is. I'm for debate. I'm, for, I'm actually for the truth, not for debate. Because sometimes debates are to win, I mean, to win the conversation, the debate, is not to find out, hey, what actually uh, is this? Okay, the topic today is weasels. And we find out uh, what weasels are, and we, I bring evidence, and you bring this, and we find out what weasels, that's not a debate. Debate is, I'm my point, you have your point. And I'm gonna prove you that my point is the right point, and your point is wrong. And I'm gonna employ all the rhetoric tactics to make my point and make you look bad in front of the audience. That's the debate these guys are going to have. And he's afraid. Why? If you hold the truth, if you're certain about it. And this, this avoidance so far doesn't do any, any good. It just fuels more conspiracy theories. Because this, a lot of people, I'm talking about, I think, tens of millions could think, could think about this wait a minute, you're the heavyweight here, you're the world champion. You should knock this guy out in a debate regarding the vaccine just like this. And your weasel? Hey, Rogan, if you're so serious about that, uh, that's monstrous, uh, uh, Elon Musk. Why don't you just show up? It's a debate. It's your expertise, your knowledge, your field of knowledge, PhD, medical doctor. I mean, what do you want? You have medical doctors, physicians at White House, uh, the White House. They tell us that uh, uh, Biden is a vigorous 80 year old uh, fit to continue to be fit to uh, exercise his uh, duties as a president. Versus. So, yeah, thank you very much. Um, it used to be that thing called ethics. 
and not only in the medicine uh, practice, uh, practice of medicine, but it used to be, and not only, you know, ethics in uh, that way, but I think it was ethics in giving a, uh, a wrong diagnostic or avoiding to give the diagnostic of a patient with clearly normal, if I can elevate myself to the level of a normal human being, uh, observing that the patient is not there and you tell me he's there. Ethics, ethics. I don't know, we're going in a direction where uh, uh, logic and evidence and uh, facts play a fifth role in finding what happened and feelings and I uh, think I, I dreamt this must be true because I dreamt it or I think that uh, these are not glasses. I think they are bicycles or bicycle. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just awful.